Hello, hi, Ollie. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can, yeah. Can. Uh, congratulations on the win. In terms of what you're trying to achieve this this season, how important was that to get that victory over the line? Oh, uh, it's been a big week for us. Uh, the last uh, few few league games, big games uh, up near the top of the league, and uh, we're starting to build some momentum in the league. Um, of course, now we we open the gap further to West Ham, so which was important for us. Rob Dawson. Hi, I mean, in terms of what's possible this season, how, how important is this week? Firstly, winning today and then the two sort of cup games before the international break. Oh, you know, we, we want to improve on last season. We want to get to a final. We want to move up the table. So um, this week was always going to be massive. Uh, the reaction after the disappointment of the goal late equaliser that Milan scored was... Uh, was really good because you never know uh, how that can affect you. And I thought it looked like everyone wanted to show uh, what they want, uh, what they could do in the first 15, 20 minutes, maybe a little bit too eager, uh, lacked a bit of composure. Uh, attitude was spot on though. Uh, and then when we got the composure, we built more and more pressure and momentum. Simon Peach. Hi Ollie. congratulations on the win. Um, just wanted to ask, um, Mason Greenwood performed well again tonight and probably unlucky not to get a goal. What are your thoughts on his performance? And also, is it right that your injury worries are going to ease perhaps in Milan from what you're saying? Yeah, injury-wise, I hope that we have four or five players back for that game. Uh, we hope, um, very likely, that Edison and Anthony are fit. Donny, hopefully, as well. Paul even might make the trip um, and David is back from isolation. So that's uh, that's more numbers. You can see uh, today we even had two goalkeepers on the bench. So we, we need them back, of course. And uh, uh, what was the other question? You, you asked me another one. <laughs> just, just about Mason. I know, I know he didn't yeah, score. Yeah, yeah of course. His performance was really good. He deserved the goal. I have to say he's played really well lately. He's, uh, he, he linked the play well for us, he held it up for us, uh, kept switching it, and he had uh, two best chances. It was great save by Fabianski down to his right, and uh, unfortunate to hit the post for the, on the second one, and he, he kept creating chances for others as well, so very pleased with Mason at the moment. Simon Stone? Um, Ollie, in terms of today, it West Ham didn't really kind of push on, but is that the kind of game where you've got to be patient and you've got to try and create openings because there's not a lot of space? Yeah, we had to uh, readjust a little bit. after. So after 15, 20 minutes, there was a break in the play and we just had to get to grip with our uh, composure. We were too eager. We, we kept passing it, firing the passes into each other, couldn't find the red shirt whatsoever. Uh, I thought we improved the last 15, 20 minutes. Then at half time, we just said, keep keep moving the ball quicker, keep moving it, and it, chances will come. Goal was a bit fortunate, but still, we created enough chances to score a few more as well. David McDonald? Uh, Howdy. Um, that's 13 games in all comps un unbeaten, but the goals aren't flowing like, like they were a few weeks ago. That's, I think, four in the last six. Is that a concern to you at all, or, or do you do you sort of offset that with the fact you've become very difficult to beat? Well, you know, we've had four clean sheets now in the, in the league, uh, straight up, and I think that's always a foundation. We want to create goals, we want to score goals. We're creating big chances. Um, fantastic save by Fabianski today. Uh, hit the post, Mason, there's other few others that we are so close. So I feel that we're getting back to what we can. You know, there's not... It's only a week ago we uh, we scored we we beat City two 0 so we're uh, we don't want to be greedy and say we want to. No one can score four or five goals in every game in the Premier League. You've got to earn it. Uh, the foundation with a clean sheet, the attitude, desire uh, that's there, and then we always back our players to create enough to score goals. Hal Anker. Good evening, Ollie. Um, reports in the newspapers <laughs> talking about you might be entering negotiations for a contract extension. Um, are you beginning to plan for United of the future or are your thoughts very much on them now? 
my thoughts are very much on doing my job as well as I can every single day. That's that's all my focus is on. Samuel Lucas. Well, hey, Luke Shaw's having a tremendous season, and I think many fans said he was man of the match again today. Um, what do you put his improvement down to? Because he does seem to be progressing week after week with his performances. Many reasons. He's been working uh, steadily and uh, really well. You know, he got this injury towards the end of last season. He worked really hard to get back fit. He's got competition uh, in Alex. Alex has done well. Uh, Luke has really taken on that competition. He goes forward, he trusts himself, he's um, become a dad. I think that does much, it does a lot to many. And I think Luke has matured so much the last, say, uh, well, I've been there for two and a half years soon. And I just, I, I love to see his development. He is now 25, he's, he's becoming a, a man and he's one of the, you know, the experienced boys in our team. And his, his attitude has been spot on. Uh, when you've got these talents, uh, everything, the, the world's at your feet. Well, last question for Joe Prince, what right? Hi, Oli. Um, you mentioned it earlier about the four clean sheets. That's the first time in the league since you took charge that's happened. And it's something we talked about uh, during Project Restart, that solid foundation. And you feel like that's the main area of progress this season that you can really take away from the group over the last 12 months of those defensive performances have improved and that's what's going to get you to the next stage? Well, you have to defend well uh, to get the clean sheets in the Premier League. Of course, we've scored more goals this season than last season. We are getting, improving as an attacking team as well. Uh, but the attitude of everyone uh, of doing the work that Kieran and Michael are doing, uh, the work on the training ground and in the meeting rooms, absolutely spot on. The detail the coaches give the players they, they listen, they look, they, um, that's more and more modern football. We want to attack uh, teams being defend or we, we want to attack them by defending really high and being on the front foot attack, uh, defensively. And of course, it takes a lot of energy to do that. But I think modern football requires that. And we've, uh, we've got players who, I didn't feel a need today to take them off because I, I felt every single one to, to a team did a job defensively. Thank you very much, everyone.